Hi everyone, Mike Hudson and today I'm on another Tesla FSD adventure. This time today, just a short one, I'm heading out to a Perth intersection up in the suburb of Churchlands. There's a chicane up there which seems to be causing a bit of confusion when it comes to FSD, so I want to put it to the test and see how it goes. So I'm part of the Tesla Owners Club of Western Australia and it's always good to see some posts in there, but there was one concerned Tesla driver in there when they approached this chicane in Churchlands, the car actually goes on the wrong side of the road. So I had to ask, where is it? Because I really want to go check it out. If it wins, hey, great. It looks like maybe the model's been updated and it's training and every time someone drives it, it learns a bit more. That's an optimistic view. If no, great. I want to share it with you guys and show that there are some things that it can't do, which is why it is full self-driving supervised and you must be ready to take control at any time. And also, if it does get it wrong, that we can feed it back to Tesla with the little button there and give them a little report of what it did wrong so that they can train the model. So, let's check it out. University Avenue. All right, my destination is about to expire here. All right, so let's do end trip. All right, now we have no destination set. The vehicle is just full self-driving. I believe it should be coming up. Oh, here it is. There's a car right behind me. Oh, oh, it hesitated. Oh, interesting. What? Brilliant. Okay, I'm gonna U-turn and check it out. Okay, turning left on a University Avenue. Let's get some speed up. Full self-driving is activated without any destination. There is a curve. There's a gap in the white line. White line appears again. And, oh, <gasps> okay. I felt it, a very tiny little did it. And, oh. Oh, I'm loving this. Let's do it again. All right, so this time I put a pin right through where we're going to go and we've turned on full self-driving with a destination set. So let's see if it does the steering wiggle. All right, turning left on University Ave. Let's give it another try. Okay, not gonna block the view of the steering wheel. Okay, turning left into the turn. Uneventful. Okay, back on University Ave, full self-driving activated, here it comes. Okay, that test was completely no issue at all, that was fine. Let's test it again. Seemed pretty uneventful on that first round, so let's see if number two gives us the same result. Turning full self-driving on, we are destinationless. Approaching the chicane, white line vehicles are there. Okay, not one thing wrong. Hmm, okay, that was fine going this way. So the only thing I've noticed is going the other direction that it seems to do it. So let's see if having the destination set makes it more confident, have more certainty of how it's going to drive, knowing where it's going. All right, I'll try not to block the steering wheel but ready to take over. All right, here it comes, white line gone, white line is back, traffic is there. Flawless, absolutely no issue whatsoever. So for one final test, let's go in the other direction with a destination set and see how it handles it. Fingers crossed, but so far, it's been pretty good. Start, FSD supervised. Okay, here we go on University Ave. Here comes the chicane. Hmm. Completely uneventful. It handled it absolutely perfectly, but I think I know what the issue is. So in my testing just now, I can certainly see that having a destination has helped, but it might also be that there's traffic and the traffic is easy going well. Don't go on that side because there's traffic there. So this time I've set the same destination, but hopefully we can go through without traffic there and see if we get the same result or if FSD gets confused. 
University Avenue. All right, there was some traffic. It's now completely clear. What's it gonna do? Absolutely fine. Now there was still that one car that did see it, even though it was before, it might have told FSD, well, definitely don't go on that side because that's what that other car's going to do. So, all we can do is try it, but I think at this time of day, I don't know if we're gonna get a break without any traffic. But, I'm willing to give it another try, so let's see. Okay, he, damn it, car again. It nailed it. Let's do one more. Damn it! Traffic again! Nailed it. Let's go again. I think this road is just too busy. I don't think I'm gonna get a gap. Here we go. It's clear. Come on, stay clear. All right, University Ave. Full self-driving's activated with a destination. Come on, come on! Flawless, nailed it. Flawless, with or without traffic, it nailed it. But it was when we very first arrived, that first drive that we could see the steering wheel do a little shake and there was uncertainty. So let's put that to the test. All right, destination set to set it through that same direction. Let's see what happens this time with or without traffic. University Ave, white line is there. White line disappears with a gap. Here comes the chicane. Let's see the steering wheel. Oh, there was a little wobble. Little. All right, let's do it again. Did it that time just fine. Again. Nailed it. Let's do it again. Nailed it. Totally confident. Let's see what happens. Nailed it. All right, in that case, let's test it one more time. Final time. Okay, here we go. Final turn, turning on a university Ave. full self-driving. Do your thing. Do it. Are we gonna see any steering jiggle? Nailed it. So my end summary and thoughts there. Unfortunately, I didn't encounter any parts where I had to take control or the vehicle went on the wrong side of the road. There was just that little niggle where it wanted to go to the right. I'm kind of thinking it must have been a time of day issue to do with those shadows with the leaves and the trees on the road. My summary is that full self-driving did manage to get through it every time without me needing to take control. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider subscribing. Add some comments down below on what you thought it did well or didn't do well. Let me know if there's any places that you think I should be checking out with full self-driving or if you have full self-driving, you found it to be a bit quirky because I'd love to experience it. I do want to make sure that my channel is giving an unbiased view of what this software can and can't do. Last point as always, if you're thinking of getting a Tesla or know someone that's thinking of getting a Tesla, use my referral link. I'll put it in the description also. And lastly, thanks so much for watching. Have a great one and catch you in the next video. Bye.